It's 20 in a promo moment shown on live TV. So if you guys do enjoy, please drop a like, subscribe to my channel, and let's get straight into today's video. This reporter is obviously oblivious of her surroundings. She doesn't even know it's a mascot standing right behind her until he comes at super close. <laughs> Lifting weights and wearing a suit isn't always the best idea. And this reporter found out the hard way. So all the power is coming through your hips, not your arms. So make I sure just ripped my pants, I swear no, to God. You did not. I swear to God. Oh my God. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. I said I was gonna do it last time. Oh my a TV host forgot as a hole on stage and she ended up falling down it. She looked straight in front of her without looking straight down. This reporter is thank you and the rescuers. And then she says some weird things, like her hat and skirt is off to them. Now that is a bit strange. I think she meant something else. Our lives, my hat and skirt is off to all of you who participate in that because it is a tough, tough job. Well, for many of you, it's going to be a tough job to take the heat as we continue focusing on the warm up in store for so many of you out west. But many of you. When sometimes you cannot hide your emotions and your reaction, he couldn't believe how beautiful the woman was that walked by him on live TV. Ne? Ah, <laughs> this report forgot she was live on TV and ends up doing this, shocking all the viewers. Thousands of people left without power after an earthquake hit the play Mr. Toggle. That was a great shot. It landed on the reporter's head. Simon Südel hat in a microphone. So, tut noch ein bisschen weh. Ja, Khalid Bula Rouge war es. Man muss aber sagen, hat sich schon äh, freundlicherweise entschuldigt. Gerade Opoka Castro, gucken Sie mal bitte. This journalist gets taken down on live TV and she forgot how scary it will be. She ended up screaming at the top of her lungs. Um, we're gonna step here, we're gonna simple throw. I think from now on they need a shield around the reporters because everybody's getting hit on their head. Kante by diesem Turnier und weil wir unbekannt Unbekanntes zu Bekannten machen wollen, den habe ich gerade noch abgekriegt, der hat aber gepasst. I wonder why she hates reporting football players. She ends up getting soaked every time she does. What are the highlights? Where do you think you want to go back? Yeah, there are so many, but of course, the first Meister title. Okay. But at least it's a upgrading, right? So he's just, no, trying out your new dance move goes completely wrong. He trips over his own legs and lands on the floor. When the singer Madonna was performing her song on stage, the coat she was wearing wouldn't come undone, dragging her straight onto the ground. This guy has obviously saw the last clip of the woman because he gets scared every single time a football player kicks the football. Rolle von Michael Ballack müsste er nur die sechste Rolle einnehmen, kam nicht der Ball, war nur angedeutet. That's one of the best comebacks on live TV. When a singer falls off the stage and carries on singing. Funny and embarrassing moment happened to the singer on stage when the white thing over her head ends up getting stuck in her hair. These two news anchors on the left hand side and made a joke on live TV, but they only did it because they thought the cameras stopped rolling. But think again. Here we go, day right there, buddy. I'm here. Square, use it. <laughs> Finally, a use for the square. Never, I would never ruin such a thing. There you go. The reporter wasn't aware of her surroundings. She was reporting the news in the middle of the street, and a bystander ends up rescuing her. The singer on the stage was trying to do a nice thing by talking to a fan, but then she forgot there's a drop in front of her, falling off the stage in embarrassment. 
she took this embarrassment like a pro when she trips over on stage. And then she stays there for a few seconds and starts to sing again. Sometimes tripping over happens to the best of us. This singer almost trips over she lands into the reporter's arms. When sometimes they do a live broadcast at the wrong time. Wise mouth was wide open. Now that is one way to say my job is boring. Oh. <laughs> now it's uh, time for a look. Harry Styles ends up falling off stage when he's trying to do a stunt. His mic ends up getting stuck between a gap on stage, putting him straight back onto the ground. This news angle is getting ready to be on live at TV until she falls down onto the ground. Then later on, she found out it was captured on TV. Oh, all the time in the world. Time in the world. The reporter was trying to do a nice thing by helping a diver out of the sea. This president was saluting his people when he ends up falling off stage and onto the ground. That's one moment he will never forget even to this day. Reporting why it's super windy isn't a good idea. We can all rest assume that we are our last time doing this on TV. If you ask any reporter, that's probably their worst nightmare. Try not to sneeze on TV. One degrees. Excuse me. I can't help it. Excuse me. Okay, let's get back to the forecast. Obviously, allergies are up. Mold is a key issue. The audience ends up laughing because what she is saying on TV, because they took it as inappropriate, even though she didn't even mean it in that way, shape, or form. And another one that's just in and out. It's just how we like it, right? So it doesn't sit around. In the West, though, we do have some... <laughs> What? What did I say? I don't even know what I said. All right. Uh, we have a lot of snowpack here in the West, which is great because it's been so parched at times in the West. And look at this, our percentage of average. This report has a funny interaction with an elephant. The elephant couldn't leave him alone on TV. Decimating our entire ecosystem and disrupting the circle of life. And with the rise in drought cases, it is up to us to be guardians of our own natural world, save our wild species, and provide a home. <laughs> this reporter adjusts her outfit on live TV. Now that is one thing she forgot to do off stage. Warnings, and then we're gonna zoom in and show you where we have one particular warning here. This uh, in Effingham, Illinois, where there's adjusting my uh, my jacket there and my outfit. You know, when you sit down, sometimes it gets all bunchy and stuff. You guys know how that is, right? You just don't ever get to show everyone on my TV what it's like to adjust your stuff. You know, when you sit down, sometimes it gets all bunchy and stuff. You guys know how that is. When you think the live broadcast has stopped and you think it's home time, but think again, it was all captured on TV. Oh, uh, This guy's arm was around his girlfriend, but when he saw himself on TV, he ends up removing his arm. I wonder what he's hiding. This BBC reporter has something stuck in her mouth, so she stops on live TV and does it all over again. Yeah, today he said they, they are shook. We're gonna do that again. A reporter almost got hit by a car if it wasn't for this kind of person. 
A presto qui a Montecitorio il vertice è ancora in corso, dicevamo, scusate, quasi un incidente in diretta. A shopping cart runs away on TV and she's explaining it costs thousands of dollars to do this. So that thousands of dollars of items almost got destroyed. For thousand dollars to put on a show like this tonight, about half that came from private sponsors. They, they say usually after everything's said and done, uh, the chamber gets about five to six thousand dollars back from food sales. We're live in Cape If you did enjoy today's video, then hit or two of my other videos videos on the screen right now and if you guys want to see any videos from myself in the future then please subscribe to my channel enjoy and have a great day i'll see you guys in my next video peace out